uh, for Dangote Group, Anthony Chiejina, uh, Mr. Chiejina, thank you so much. Well, we've been talking to yeah, you behind the scene. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I guess having eight awards has finally brought you to the fore of the camera. Wow. Well, from, <laughs> from one winner to another, we'd like to say congratulations yeah, to, thank to you. Dangote. And congratulations to you as well, too, for <laughs> thank winning. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. So, I mean, for, for you guys, uh, you've retained that first position, I think, for five years Five now? years, yeah. Sure. Uh, so, back so how, to back. Yeah, back to back. And, yeah. and, and we know that when you are at the top there, you do have a lot of competition, a lot of exactly. <laughs> people be trying, trying to, to take that. This space. Yeah, so how, how have you been able to retain that position? I mean, so we can also get from that and retain our own <laughs> position also. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Okay, looking at the brand itself, you know, the Dangote brand, you know, it's an outstanding brand, you know. And if you look at the category, it's number one brand in Africa, number one brand in Nigeria, also number one brand in terms of uh, building Africa, okay, and number one brand in terms of uh, bringing pride you know, to Africa. So it's both national and continental. And what must inform them is the focus of the company, what we believe in, the commitment of the chief branding officer, which I said is the, my boss, Aliko Dangote, and um, what he believes in, you know, he said belief nothing is impossible as far as he's concerned. So at the heart of that nothing is impossible is quality, quality and people having value. So if you look at our products, for instance, cement, from country to country in Africa, I've been to almost like 18 countries. We operate in 10 countries and four more coming on board. In the 10 countries, each time I travel from one African country to the other, I feel so happy and so proud to see Dangote cement dotting the streets of Adam Maputo, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Zambia, Cameroon, Senegal, even Mali, Burkina Faso. So it gives us that sense of pride that an African is doing something by an African. And at the same time, too, it's at the heart of what he believes in pulling people away from, from poverty. It's also the heart of industrializing the continent. It's also talking, not only talking, but also the self-sufficiency, you know, and also self-determination. We have to take control of the resources we have. They talk about Africa having commodities, and I mean, it's like talking about, um, you know, you have a brilliant child, and that child is homeless. So it makes no sense. So he is the one in terms of leading the vanguard of industrialization. Mm. Yeah, in you Africa. know, even from what you have said, uh, it, it, it sounds difficult to differentiate between Dangote the brand and Dangote the man. The man, yeah. Is, is, is there a difference? Yeah, the thing is that it's the brand icon. And that is the spirit. We all live in his vision. So that's the man with the vision, and that is what he believes in, and that's what is driving him. In, in, in anything he does. And all of us, we have to key into that system. For instance, our Bajana plant, you know, the first line was commissioned in uh, 2006. And before then, in 2002, Nigeria was producing, uh, you know, 2 million metric tons. But, but today, it's uh, 35.5 million metric tons we are producing. So in Africa, it's uh, 51.6. So we have ramped it up. You can imagine. Within a space of of um, 20 years, producing two million or less than two million metric tons, so we have moved up to 35.3 million metric tons. Okay. And and at the same time in Africa too, we moved up to 51.6. So that is that is the thing because he he has the vision, he has the drive. So and that is why all of us are keen into it and. You feel so happy when you go to other African countries, the way heads of says, heads of says, and also Africans, you know, praise him for his determination, for his courage, and for his belief in Africa. Mm. And that is why, and that is why we collected such an award. And we have done it in so many areas. Mm. So at the same time, so it tells you that is what I may call the inevitability of Nigeria's ascendancy into global, you know, space. 
So no matter how difficult the condition is, mm -hmm. yes. So, so Mr. Chijina, uh, uh, because we do know that uh, when we talk about Nigerian made products, uh, a lot of times there's this sentiment of, you know, weariness, being cautious because of um, lack of trust in the quality. Yeah. So tell us as Dangote, how you've been able to overcome this huddle, you know, so much so that you have penetrated markets outside the country. Yes, two things. One, we have the best technology, especially in cement. And the mantra is quality, value. And that, is, that has made it possible for us to penetrate all African countries. And wherever we go, they tell us that our quality is the best. See it. Be it Ethiopia, be it Zambia. So, and that is why we don't joke with our yeah, products. Yeah, but how do you with deal quality. with the perception, you know? Having a good product is one thing, mm. but get convincing people, convincing them that you actually have a good product is also, is also another yes, thing. Yes, I agree with you, but it's saying the way you present the message, see it? And at the same time, the way you weave the messaging is very, very key. For instance, you know, for me, media is everything in pushing this kind of message, see it? And number two, you know, as Marshall McLuhan would say, the medium is the message. The medium you use to convey the message is also very, very important. And that is what we have done over the years to make sure that we weave the story in a very intelligent, compelling and convincing way. So, and that um, has made people to believe in us. And not only that, it has to be consistent. You don't relent. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's like an everyday affair. So, and once you keep pushing in that message into the psyche of the people, and they test it and they see it, they'll have faith in that product, they'll have trust in that product. Mm. And it's not an easy process, but it's something that is uh, doable. And that's what we have done over the years. Okay, and then, of course, you had the fertilizer. Uh, yeah. You also bombarded us with the fertilizer. Now it's working. Um, how far was the supply, was the, you know, the rich? And the demand the, the reach for... has been so fantastic. See, and um, with what is going on, you know, in global politics, see that we have rising demand from EU countries, from Asia, from Latin America, from United States. So the demand is is high, and also in the sub-region, Benin, Ghana, Togo. Cameroon, Senegal. So we have so much demand of, uh, of the products. And at I the same time, too, the products. Home. Now that you have a lot of also, demand, you have a lot no, of demand from home, outside the country. Satis, I hope yeah, you no, not forget the domestic. <laughs> no, we don't. Because we also emphasize the domestic, be it Kano, Kaduna, Portacot, Uwere, Aba, Sokoto, KB. So our products are there. And one of that thing that is resonating very, very high is also the quality of the fertilizer. See, it. all of them are so happy about it, and that's what they are saying. And that's what we are known for in all our products. We don't joke with it. The quality is good, and that is why they can trust us. And that is why when we are crafting our messaging, so it goes with, uh, with this uh, particular element. And then, of course, we have the refinery. I mean, at the moment in Lagos, not just in Lagos, I think almost in most states of, of the country at this time, mm. we have the queues are back. Yeah. And uh, Ipman, uh, the mar uh, oil marketers, are saying that, well, it doesn't look like 650 uh, Naira can be sustained, you know, as a pump price. So we're going back to the issue of refinery uh, because of subsidy and all of that. And Nigerians are really hopeful and looking on to Dangote. Dangote seems to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> so I do hope that Dangote, I mean, Nigerians are really looking forward to at least the imputes of um, refined products, petroleum products from Dangote. Sidney, let me tell you, that is the game changer. And we are coasting home, coasting home very well. Sooner or later, the people will see it. Now, what we are doing is pre-commissioning stage. So the, the operation people are on ground, making sure that the commissioning, system by system commissioning, is what we are doing to ensure that everything falls into line. So we are coasting home very well. And I also will tell you the same thing concerning, concerning the quality. The quality of our products, we can match it. Euro 5, 
and that is the best we provide. And that is why the brand will continue to resonate and occupy that position as the leading brand in Africa. And also, in terms of, uh, you know, people talk about refinery, refinery, because that's our immediate. But the main one, the sweetener, what I call the sweetener is the petrochemical, the nine red thousand, you know, metric tons per annum of polypropylene. That is the sweetener. That is where you have the labor sponge. Labor sponge in the way that the absorptive capacity is very high. I mean, you can see it traversing the textile industry, paint industry, plastics. See it. Almost everything here is made of plastics. So, and also will help the country conserve foreign exchange and pull people out of poverty and also create jobs for so many people and conserve uh, effects. So, that will help also support different industrial and infrastructural projects, you know, in Nigeria in, and also in Africa. So this refinery is not only serving Nigeria, also Africa as well too. Mm. And uh, if I were to go by what is going on, you know, in Ukraine and uh, and uh, Russia, you can see that we are just on course. What Aliko Dagote has been preaching: self-sufficiency, industrialization, self-determination, and the self-reliance. Or uh, what you know, people talk about, you know, in terms of. Uh, diversification of economy and backward integration. Mm. And that is what he has been preaching and also doing. So the agency is very, very strong now, given what is happening. For any nation to develop that self-sufficiency strategy and self-reliance is very, very important. And that has won us the admiration of so many countries in Africa. And the award that we are celebrating today exactly. for the fifth time. For the fifth but time. But tell me, you are the chief uh, branding officer of Dangote. How do you sell um, oil at a time when the world is talking about clean energy, renewable energy? How do you sell and celebrate oil at a time no, like this? We have that in mind too. I mean, look at what is going on in the country. Most homes are now without electricity. We know the need for clean energy. We are not saying that it's wrong, no. But it has to be phase by phase. That is it. So we are need now, and what is going on, and even what is going on globally. You see countries like Germany, you see them relying on coal. Coal, they almost phase out. So they are going back to coal. So we are still on course. We believe in clean energy, and we do everything also to support it. All right, yeah. uh, Mr. Anthony Chejina, Chief Branding and Communication Officer, Dangote Group. Uh, Mr. Chejina, I must tell you, he has been communicating with a lot of media, but you would not say his face, so we are glad to bring <laughs> the face <laughs> to the fore this yeah, morning. And congratulations once again yeah, to Dangote. Yes. Uh, keep up the good work. Yeah, thank and, you so uh, much, here to celebrate yeah. you. Thank you. All right, so we'll take a break now. After that break, uh, we'll go into our commodity segment. We'll just have to have a, a short conversation on that. Yeah. Channels Television.